So imagine you're a defunct pogo stick who's just trying to get to the core of your planet to blow it up. Because that's exactly what happened here. However, with those resources I get, I can buy upgrades that get me more resources. And then I can just come to do it all again. Oh, I launched myself that way. You can also sell the resources you get, get some money, and now I can do things like upgrading my drill damage. Let's just do that a few times. Dealing 13.5 damage now to this iron. I most definitely need more fuel though. Easy enough. That also just takes iron. And with every upgrade I unlock, it goes deeper into the skill tree. Now I can get this gravity lock for 2k. Time to just bounce till I got what I need. We're spinning a fun little circle. Both work. Which that's 2.25 thousand now. Buy the gravity lock. Don't get knocked back when breaking blocks. Can also buy more drop rate of blocks. And then go into more fuel. Now let's see by holding shift I just dig right into the earth. Yeah, okay. Coming through. Excuse me. Don't mind me. When I get to the silicon, I just explode though. I got a hundred of it though, so I can increase the drop rate. Neat. Oh, and I can negate some of the block damage. Also neat. All right. Pierce the heavens real quick with this drill. By that I just mean forcibly punch a bunch of silicon until I blow up. I can pretty much sell all my iron for 14 grand, which will let me upgrade my drill to level 10. And then by using silicon and money, I can upgrade my drill damage even more up to level seven and start getting coin siphon. Look at how many skills have just started to pop up. What am I going to be able to turn into? A monstrosity? I also deal 48 damage with my drill now. Oh my gosh. Cannonball and I explode. We most definitely need more fuel size. I can buy some though too. Neat. And increase this armor pretty much as high as I can. What'd that unlock? Freeze fuel and health regen, but that needs aluminum and ice. I don't have any of that around. I've learned that by holding A and D, I can actually circle the planet, which is very handy for collecting a whole bunch of stuff. Look, 13,000 silicon. Increase the drop rate a whole bunch and get some more armor down and then use my vast amount of iron to try and increase my fuel tank size even more. Eventually I need rocks. Wow. What's the difference between rocks and all this other stuff? Whatever. Time to do a couple circles around the planet. And thanks to my coin siphon, I even go up thousands of dollars just by destroying natural environments. I get why all those billionaires do it now. It looks like I'm forced to be in the red area now, which is aluminum. And that killed me so fast. Rusters? Well, I hardly know her first off, but now I know her very well. I can fly up and down now. Can I buy a second nope. one? No, not yet. All right, my fault. I think what I want to try and do is get as much silicon as I can, also buy some more coin siphon, and then if I just sell these, that put me at near 100,000, so coin siphon's maxed out, and we'll get my fuel to 11. Look at this, I'm like fully omnidirectional now. I mean, it takes fuel, but still. Thanks to my increased armor and my increased fuel, along with my coin upgrade, I'm now sitting at 85 grand, I've used 80 fuel out of 882 of it, and I've pretty much cut this planet size in half, because I've just been mining each top layer of iron. Upgrades I get after this should be something fun, I bet. I got all of the iron. I still have plenty of fuel to come get this silicon. Which, after a little bit more grinding, I got that too. Do I have enough? No, no, I don't. Aluminum still takes so much. But now I can max out the fuel tank for my iron, start getting ore siphon thanks to the aluminum that I have, increase my silicon drop rate, and start siphoning even more coins out of blocks. What do I need now? Just a few more dollars and I can get vision, which lets me see the new planet. Well, let's upgrade my drill, upgrade my armor, get a little health regen. And now I can quite literally mine blocks without losing any fuel whatsoever. But what I wanna try to do now is actually get to the core of the planet and see what happens. I I feel like I'm gonna have enough. Just let me go through, please. Excuse me, pardon me. I made it. No. No, I didn't. That's fine. I'll just get in here, get a whole bunch of aluminum, and also earn a crap ton of money thanks to my coin siphon. Now I can buy this Vision 1, which unlocked even more things for me. I need a million coal, 3,000 gunpowder, and 30 million for Vision 2. But I do have another drill damage increase here that just takes iron. This is a drill damage that takes aluminum, though, so I'm just gonna go into that. A little more ore siphon. And now I can see even more planets orbiting around, but it looks like I have a moon. It has rock, coal, and sulfur on it, but I need a million dollars to actually buy it and go there. Man. Well, let me just get a million real quick. 
Also, I've learned that if I just break a bunch of aluminum, come back up here, I can mine a bunch of easier to break rocks and get a whole bunch of fuel back, which then lets me go in and break more aluminum, of course. But now moon, hello. So it looks like these first ones are rocks, which seems to take at least a little bit of fuel from me, but luckily my drill's strong enough that I can break them quite nice. I believe coal is the next one in and my drill is nowhere near strong enough. It hurts to mine coal. I really thought I was making super good progress. Also, look at how much tinier this planet is just because it's a moon. It's much easier to clear out the entire top resource. All right, Cole, just blow me up. Thanks, buddy. Oh, because I mined enough rocks, I can get the speed of the drill upgrade. It just increases my drill speed. I have no idea what that entails practically, but seems cool. Also, max out my money for fuel size and then start buying rock fuel. There's a lightning and electricity from broken blocks. What is that going to do? Ooh, increase the drop rate of aluminum too. Yeah, buy that twice and then ore siphon and then aluminum armor to five and more fuel regen when breaking blocks i don't know the rest go into drill damage all right i've got a higher drill speed now this all seems pretty much the same though although it looks like i can farm aluminum pretty much guaranteed now does that mean i can break the core of the planet have i come this far oh that did a ton of damage to me actually wait let me get my fuel back thanks to my increased percentage the core is much tinier now so then what happens if i break it prestige the planet triple the block health but triple the resources yes that's fine for me because i can still break silicon and iron very easily everything's just three times as efficient i love it that gave me 314,000 aluminum it seems and enough money to buy this milestone might as well max out coin siphon plus plus and then well if i just had a little more money i could get ore siphon plus plus that's fine or purify it looks like there's challenges for the planet now i'm just gonna put all three of them on and go back to prestige one what does that do why is my fuel so low something tells me the challenges are not a good idea but now that i've got my milestones it looks like i got an extra thousand fuel for breaking a core and every few blocks broken i get a crazy amount of boost and so on prestige planet 2 actually trying to break into silicone does huge damage and needs a bunch of fuel iron however still extremely easy to get and because of that i can get some more ore siphon and then i feel like trying to just max out the things that take a little aluminum from me is the way to go also the fact that I've got like 1.5 million iron that I just put into drill damage. Now I can head back to my moon and actually mine up coal pretty nice and get my first little taste of sulfur before I explode. But now I can craft gunpowder, which I guess is just sulfur and coal. Okay, craft it. Oh, it's just, it's just going slowly. All right. I can also unlock this electricity thing. I don't know what it does, but it gives me more question marks. Oh, and I've got rock armor now. Neat. Be able to shoot grenades by pressing space. Uh, yes, which gave me even more upgrades, like this one that increases explosion damage a bunch. Just put five into that, and then some more into rock fuel, and more electricity. So by pressing space, I just throw a little baby grenade that broke some stuff. Okay, let me just head down in here to try and nope. get some more sulfur. Craft some more of that up then, because now I have two grenades. And so after crafting up a whole bunch of gunpowder, I can get a few unlocks, increase grenade damage. This one that causes an explosion when I'm going fast, which just seems cool. Increase grenade explosion size twice and then add another grenade and then with the money i got i'd like to try and max out my aluminum plated drill damage i just need more aluminum and money however with my aluminum i can max out the aluminum regeneration and start getting the shield up now back to the solar system because i want to see just how good this grenade is now yeet in there okay that's i mean somewhat solid i cause an explosion when i'm going fast now so what about all the way up there oh yeah that was cool anyways that's enough aluminum now max out the aluminum drill and i'm just a bit shy from foil dang it i do have enough money now for a one percent crit chance and then more grenade damage i feel like my grenade should pretty much be used here to get a bunch of sulfur like that i wonder if i can break into the core here i can mine up a bunch of rocks to try and nope wasn't able to get in oh well craft more sulfur when you break a block it will explode yes i put frost on this planet and it doesn't matter all blocks go boom oh and i've upgraded my aluminum or drop rate enough that I have a gem chance now, which I guess is just another currency that I'll have to use, but I can put that to 10. And then there's gem chance plus, which immediately goes to five. I was filthy rich. This is good. I, I like this a lot now. And I can just grenade the core and crash in. No, I 
I almost had it. Whatever, back at the shop, I can upgrade bulk crafting with the gems that I have. So now I get four gunpowder every time and make it where I start getting more gems and then increase that grenade damage. Wonder if I can blow this core up now after that. Yeah, that just did it in one grenade. <laughs> Here I can max out my aluminum armor now because I've had plenty of it. And I've got enough gunpowder where I can get this shoot lightning around the player static thing, which seems fun, which I should probably use my coal to increase that size. Ooh, increased size of drill explosions. Let's get that too. And then yeah, sure, crit chance. So now whenever I go to the moon, well, yeah, there's just explosions everywhere. Lightning zaps random blocks to do damage for me. I'm just like a flying drilled nuclear bomb thing. And I admit, it's pretty sweet. Sulfur is still a little bit of a pain to get though, but thanks to my grenades, pretty simple. Grenade the core, nowhere near enough. All right. I am able to inflict poison damage with my drill now, thanks to the amount of sulfur that I have. Upgrade how many gunpowders made it once again. <laughs> it's 21, wow. I gotta admit, that feels pretty handy. Rock armor and circuit boards. Place down orbital laser beacons by right clicking. Allows you to craft quantum boards. Spawns drones. Dude, I've still got so much stuff to get into. And look at the little poison hitting the blocks. I don't know how effective that actually is, but it seems nice. All right, I've got a thousand gunpowder. I can just buy my fourth grenade, which makes it where I can craft steel. It just takes a crap ton of coal. But then if I use my gunpowder to increase the grenade explosion size a little more, and then my drill explosion size, give me another grenade, of course. I feel like I'll be able to get enough coal and sulfur stuff here soon enough. And look at how huge these grenade explosions are now. It's basically the size of the moon. All right, craft some steel plates. And and then craft some gunpowder again. One steel plate and a million dollars. Gives me my steel plated drill damage and more gunpowder to increase my grenade size. I wanna know what this purple one is. And this grenade size is huge. I really do just have to circle the moon, drop a grenade at specific points and then I'm fine. I wonder if I just drop a bunch of grenades if I can actually manage to, well, I'm in the core and then dead. How about five grenades to the core? Does that manage to break it? Almost. Yes, I prestiged it. Wait, man, am I good at what I do? Do I get it at eight? No. How about nine? No, it looks like I'm going to need 5,000 gunpowder to reveal what this purple one is. I think I've got all of that ready to be crafted, though. So I'm going to do one more quick run on the moon at Prestige 2, where I just pretty much throw my grenades to mine stuff for me. They got real, real good after all. And then if I head back to the shop, I can buy level 10 grenade explosion size, which uses uh, antimatter to increase again. Oh, adds a laser onto your drill. That sounds sweet. What does this mean? I need a bunch of iron and aluminum and I can enhance it. I don't know. It's it's kind of hard to see the laser whenever I just I'm a walking explosion, really. Also, look at my grenade size now. That's insane. Just mining out like the entire planet. So did this get enhanced? No. Oh, I think I need to do equip it first, which is all damage times 0.3. Oh, there's my little laser friend. How do I use this guy? Oh, I can just hold down mouse one and shoot a laser out now. That takes a bunch of fuel though. Ah, whatever. Mining has never been easier. This is insane. Look at all of the pixels and everything. Well, for the very first time, there's there's nothing left for me to get. I am on my way to becoming something horrifying, I bet.